Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha Pan. It's been a while. I am back with another video. So today I'll be doing nine outfits that are inspired by 90s movies characters. Um, well, not nine exactly. A to precise. One of the outfits was from the late 70s. You'll see that all of the outfits were styled with boots just because ever since I moved to Japan, I get to experience seasons. And I bought my first boots, which is this white ankle length boots from Zara. I love this boots so much that I bought some more boots so this is like a little boot collection here so I thought it would be fun to incorporate these boots into the styling today so with no further ado let's get started The first outfit is a green plate flannel fabric outfit with a matching skirt and top. This outfit is inspired by Cher from the movie Clueless where the main character is obsessed with plate and so do I. I love how Cher isn't afraid to wear a bold coordinate two-piece and we can thoroughly see that in many of her outfits in the movie. And yes, I know the iconic Clueless outfit must be in yellow but because I'm not trying to do a Halloween costume edition, I decided to go with an inspirative approach instead. The silhouette of her outfits are usually perfectly tailored to her body, but instead of going for a mini skirt as she did, I went with a midi skirt instead. With the blazer taken off, I layered a clean white long sleeve button down inside with the shirt tucked into the skirt for an extra defined silhouette. The boots add a glimpse of confidence and vice to the outfit. Overall, I think this outfit highlights the accents of her character with a little bit of me in it. The second outfit is this tweed material textile with again a matching skirt and top. Now you guys know I love the classic two-piece just like back in the days. This is actually a vintage piece I drifted in Japan. I recreated this outfit from the movie Haters and though it is not widely known for its fashion, I really do think there's a theme going on here. The characters wear colorful blazers with padded shoulders to represent status. This really gives a big contrast to the theme of the movie which is dark comedy. I just love how it's just so mundane back in the days to wear such formal outfit to school and this really inspired me to try to recreate Veronica's outfit. I love this outfit so much and it is actually suitable for any formal occasion. Overall, I really think power dressing best described the character's sense of fashion and this outfit really gave me that baddie teenager vibe in school. The third outfit is a Pinterest famous. Nobody is ever not gonna talk about this outfit by Rachel Green. This is probably like the very first outfit you see when you google Rachel Green's outfit in Friends TV show. I guess it was how Rachel was able to pull off a high school girl played mini skirt while also being so chic. Another reason why I think people are recreating this outfit a lot is how accessible it is to find a classic turtleneck and a plaid mini skirt. I am one of those who are intrigued by many of the characters' fashion in Friends and I just can't help but love all the outfits. It doesn't seem to go out of style. For this outfit, I went out and do a little twist on the top and the shoes. Instead of a turtleneck, I went with a white long sleeve button down and boots for the shoes instead of a knee high socks and black shoes. Overall, I just think you can never go wrong with this look. The fourth outfit is also from Friends TV show. In fact, I think she's one of the very unique characters in the show. This person is no other than Phoebe Buffay. She has a unique quirky personality which also shows in the outfits she wore in the show. In many of the episodes, I find her wearing lots of flowy dresses with flower prints or sometimes just really long maxi skirt to project her eccentric personality. While her friends might be wearing plain colors, we'll be finding her going all out with prints and colors. I decided to recreate this looked after seeing she has a theme for her wardrobe and just adore her consistency of her fashion through the decade of the show. I went with a knee length navy blue flower print dress and finished off the look with a brown laid back tall boots. The colors of the overall outfit just give me Phoebe Buffay's vibe. I feel carefree in this outfit and I think it's a very simple outfit that you can style and go out for any occasion. <laughs> Yeah. 
So apparently for the fifth outfit, there's an episode called The One with Monica's Boots on season 8, an episode where Monica bought a pair of extremely expensive boots, which she promised Chandler to always wear it and they'll be worth the money. Turns out the boots hurt her feet so much. In fact, my all-time favorite friend in the show is Monica. I love her personality and I really do think she holds the group together. Plus, she is in many ways a very relatable character. I decided to recreate this outfit actually from many outfits she wore. I always see her in a good pair of denim layered with either a cardigan or a jacket. And though she usually style her outfit with black short boots underneath the trim of her pants, I decided to go an extra mile and do the boots version by combining many of her looks together instead. Overall, this look might come out a little bolder than what Monica would wear. I still think it's perfectly fine to throw in a bit of yourself into what you're wearing and always have fun. This next outfit is from a movie which not a lot of people talk about. It's the character Corey Mason from Empire Records, played by Liv Tyler. I've never seen quite a character with the contrast going on. There are probably a few out there, but not much that I know of. She's so iconic that a lot of people dress up as her for Halloween. And today, I'll be recreating her looks in my own style by putting myself in her shoes. I think this would be the alternative look I'll go for. It might not be as rocked, but I really do feel badass if I were to wear this to school. The layer wearing of the white shirt and the sweater gives some sort of depth to the outfit which I love so much. Overall, I really feel like I nailed the color scheme of the outfit. This movie is my all-time favorite movie. For those who watched Marriage Story on Netflix and love the context, I would highly recommend watching Kramer vs. Kramer as well. Though it's an older movie, I really do feel there's a special charm in it. For the outfit, I really don't have much to say. Nothing really can go wrong with a trench coat. It's classy, it's timeless, and it's just a statement piece suitable for both formal and casual attire. You can literally dress up or dress down with a trench coat and you will still look effortless. I would say my version of this outfit is less formal due to the color palette I picked up for with shades of blue every here and there, while Joanna's version is very muted. Overall, I think it was a fun look to recreate and would highly recommend this look when the weather is a little chillier. It would very much be a statement look during autumn. For this outfit, I think I actually nailed the accents of Sally O'Brien with little to no twists of my own. And I think Sally's fashion has made a comeback in this millennial world. More and more young people enjoy having neutral basics in their closet as well as a good pair of corduroy jeans and chunky cardigans. Her color palette is very fall to me and I love how she combined texture and pattern together into this very perfect combination of herself expressed through her outfits. As Al described Sally's fashion as normcore, I couldn't agree more and it was way back before normcore was a thing. I recreated this outfit based entirely on her silhouette by layering boxy wool blazer over a polka dot blouse and a high-waisted corduroy coolant pants. The white, the brown, and the reddish-orange colors combination is, I would say, spot on what Sally would probably own in her closet. The white boots also give myself a bit of height and it goes very well with the coolant's length. I really love everything about this outfit because you can look good while being functional and comfortable. For this outfit, I would straight out claim that this outfit by Jackie is just so iconic and nothing is ever gonna top how she styled this very regular flat oversized shirt into really stylish back to school outfit. The way she put this ensemble together just demonstrates how casual you can be in school and look unintentionally cute as well. My version of this outfit will be switching out many pieces from the original look but the whole Jackie mood is definitely still there. I replaced loose denim pants with tight and dark denim than throw in a pair of knee-high boots on top of it for a sleeker look. And instead of layering cropped turtleneck underneath, I decided to wear the plaid as the shirt. Just because I think this is an alternative way to style oversized shirt without looking like you didn't put effort for school. This way, you can also look put together. I think the boots really give this look this highlight we want. Overall, we just can't deny that the 90s is such a cultural reset. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching until the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you like this video, please like and comment in the comment section down below which outfits or boots are your favorites. And if you like me, please subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah. No friends of mine.
no fuss of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Might have caught the jewel close, yeah